But we just gotta make sure this is the correct spot. I kinda wanna look at some other shit before I even decide. It like smells a little funky, but that's the only thing that I that I can tell that's wrong. I don't really see no bugs. I don't see no dead bugs. The only thing that's secure, that door is secure. I mean, it's pretty fucking livable, bro. Not gonna attack the sweet here. Yo. What's good, vlog? We just got into the new, to the new place. So that's what we're that's what, that's what we're doing today. It's the new setup. Sit lit. I'm excited to make many videos and bangers here. This gonna be a real spot. It's only gonna be hitting in the daytime. You know how it be. I'm gonna show you a little bit around the place. I'm gonna show you. So right now I'm in the living room. Well, that's a bedroom, and then this is a little room. Pretty chill, pretty chill stuff. And then uh, walk in here. Kitchen. Life is good, and life's great. I just want to give y'all a little update of where I'm at and what's going on. You know? Yo. What's good, vlog? I just wanted to say um, no matter how anyone makes you feel, they do you no matter what. Remember that. That's a very important step. No one can make you feel any type of way except you. And it doesn't matter what clothes you wear or what like type of person you are or who you are even. But as long as you're just a good person and you care about spreading joy and love and positivity, ain't nothing wrong, for real. So don't let nobody judge you by your appearance, your sex, whatever it is. If you don't feel comfortable in your gender or whatever, you know, it doesn't have to be like that. It's just all, it's all a societal thing. It doesn't matter what your like, biological is. All right, yo, welcome. What's up, vlog? How are y'all? This is the crib, on um, the crib kitchen. Today, we are gonna be making some fucking rice out the rice cooker. And this, we're gonna test the rice. This, we're gonna be testing the rice cooker out from Walmart, the Aroma Rice Cooker, if you've never tried it before. I just thought this was the cutest little thing of rice. I mean, look how precious this is. Um, so, I'm about to do that, and then I'm about to grill some chicken, and we're gonna see how that goes. So. Yeah, it's a real chill recipe, but I'm just gonna some chicken and onions. We're just gonna see how this shit turns out. Pretty much the first time I've ever made um, rice in a rice cooker, so hopefully the rice is actually good, because every time I make this meal, I literally fuck up the rice, so let's do it. I feel like that's a way better angle right there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put this. This is where the rice is supposed to go. We have to fill it up to the top line. I don't know, you probably can't really see it in there, but there's a line in there with numbers on it. Um, gotta wash this out. Oh, camera battery's dying, of course. So we're gonna have to get a battery too. Here. Okay, I ended up switching to the iPhone because camera battery is really bad. So this is the angle. It's not bad of an angle, it's pretty good angle too. Um, so we got the rice over here and the water. Here, I'll show you. Hold on. The water for the, can you see that? I'm gonna drop this, hold on. Get this right. So the water for this, as you can see, is based, well, it was clear, but now it's not. So you have to get it to like a very clear point to remove all that starch if you're making rice. So we have to fill it up that, that line right there. The camera couldn't really get a good angle, but this can, because it has little light. So we're gonna use that very gently and slowly. It's pretty much clear, so we don't have any perfect with it. All right, there we go. I think that was a little bit at an angle. See, that's a little much. Then we take it and put it in this thing. Make sure it's on there correctly. Okay, I pushed it. I think all I gotta do now. Yeah, just press it, plug it in, and there we go. Okay, it's on. I get to turn down the cook because it'll start on warm if you ever get one of these, just so you know. And I was told to put some olive oil in here, so that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, the lady at Walmart was super helpful with that shit. Mm -hmm. I ended up just getting some extra virgin olive oil, so you gotta make the chickens too. We eat healthy around here, so. I don't know what the best oil is to use, really. So if you leave that in the comments below, I like vegetable oil usually or extra virgin olive oil, but I feel like olive oil is definitely the healthiest. If you're watching this, you probably aren't, but shout out to you. You're, you're the best Walmart worker. I didn't even get your name, but you're the best. Shout out to my people who work at Walmart, bro. They're working hard because I used to work there right across the street. It's not easy, okay? I just want to let you know that because you see the motherfuckers working, you, you probably see them. 
and you don't even know how much work they be putting in. Just know. Same thing with the fast food workers. I always show them how much. They have to clean a whole fucking restaurant. You realize that? And cook. Hell no. The manager ain't doing that shit. You're joking. You're joking if you think manager actually on that shit. Unless you have a good manager, but not really. Most time, usually not. I work for myself and I'm blessed. And I want to thank you guys for watching this video and always supporting me because I love y'all. I really do. We all just got the good vibes going, and that's all what we're going to keep doing is keep, keep up with the good vibes. I'm about to make some chicken. Some grilled chicken. It look kind of crazy in there. Do not touch, cover, obstruct the steam vent. Period. Tell them. So, also, the coolest part about this I really like is the cook time is 18 to 23 minutes said the cup. Right? But it goes off on its own when it's done. So, I don't even have to fucking touch it. All I got to do is scoop it. Oh, dude, this is my favorite fucking part. Tell me this is not the cutest thing. Look at this. I mean, come on. What is this? This is not a real tool. This is... This is yeah. I want to get cuddled by this. Catch <laughs> y'all after I make the rice. Because, or in like 10 minutes, because then I got to make the chicken. Because I don't, I don't think, well, let me heat up the pot. Also, leave me some recipes in the comments below so I can make new shit. I really want to make something like Italian X. So, hmm. leave me some good ideas. You guys have always have really good ideas. <laughs> self-love is important. Always, always, self-love is always important. Remember that. Stay positive, don't let no one fuck with you. Remember how positive in your life is at all times, no matter what happens. Expect many new things to come. Um, in a new crib. We got a lot going on. But this last week has been crazy, so I haven't had a lot of time to think of ideas. But soon, I'm gonna lock in and I'm gonna get these videos done. We're gonna do some more outside shit too, not just do food reviews and all that. We're gonna do some hella extra shit too. Like, Gonna find some more shit like skate somewhere, some beach shit, you know, some more shit like that. Cause that's when I first heard I love. Oh, this is the fucking angle. So I told you, I'm gonna find an angle. That's too, it's too gassed. And it's like, it's what's fucking weird next to this thing. This one is burning, but it's not. I use like two, 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 like two or three tablespoons of oil. I like twelve. <laughs> like also, I really want. I'm playing with copyright. I'm gonna my shit off. I'm gonna get copyrighted my own shit. I'm pissed. I wanted to show you this. This is really important. This is really special. This is a really special thing. So, this cantaloupe came from the plant. So we fucking did it. We grew cantaloupes. Like we literally grew fucking cantaloupe. That is so fucking cool. This is the first time I ever did this. Sorry I didn't get a video of me cutting it. It was a very spur of the moment thing. My grandmother asked me, you think that's done? And I pulled it off and it pulled right off. And then we cut it up and got this much from that one little one from the last one. And then there's a few more on there too. So I'll get some footage next time I cut it up. But yeah, I need to go check on those. I mean, they're probably fine. They're covered in powdery mildew. But besides that, I don't think it really affects the quality of the fruit. It's not the sweetest. I don't think I got enough sun. But just that fact, I grew my own food. It gases me up. That's really good shit too. The Purdue real good chicken. This is this shit is expensive, but it's like my favorite chicken breast for sure. You always want to wash your chicken too. I mean, I don't know who doesn't, but. If you 
Yeah, that oil is ready and hot, so that's good. I think the rice is about 10 more minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and cook this chicken. The chicken doesn't take that long to cook. Never put soap on your chicken, it'll make it taste soapy and gross. Please don't do that. Just dry it off. That rice is boiling. I don't know if you have to see that shit, but that shit is really steaming crazy. It looks, it smells pretty good, so that's gonna do its little thing thing. Wash your hands when you're dealing with any meat. Just chicken, really, because you can get salmonella. But same thing from eggs. Also, wash your hands when you use eggs. Um, red meat doesn't really have the same effects because you can eat it raw. But I mean, you can eat chicken raw, but it's just gonna be sick. So I mean, <laughs> what the fuck's the point? Salt and pepper. God damn, is all this shit hard to fucking open? Everything is impossible to open nowadays. Okay, now we got our chili powder. Okay. That's a lot of garlic. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, this is our final product right here. Looks pretty damn scrumptious. Make sure your pan is nice and hot. Don't be afraid to let it wait and marinate on that pan. Put the oil in it while you're talking and getting all your preparations because that's the most important part about cooking chicken. The smells in here is fucking immaculate, man. This is my first time cooking in this kitchen. It's kind of hard because I actually like, don't have shit ready. Like usually I have shit washed, but... Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Look at that. Look at that. Just do uh, two or three minutes on each side. You'll be good. I do the other side for two minutes and then I'll wait two minutes on this side. So. Yeah. And the rice cooker is done. That looks like a cute little quick. So I'm going to let that sit for a moment. And we're going to fluff it up. Hey look man, you learn as you go. It's okay to make mistakes. It's hot as fuck. Can't even touch it. Dude, they make good rice. Oh my god. Just fluffing it ever so gently right now. Wow, dude, definitely invest in one of these. This is the fucking greatest thing. Look at this. Look at the quality. I'll give it a taste test too, and we'll see. So, like I said, the chicken about eight minutes total, three minutes on, four, four minutes on each side. So, I'm gonna catch y'all when it's done, and wait. I'm gonna plate it up, and I'm gonna get it right because I gotta cook the onions too. You know what, y'all? I'm not gonna have any onion. I decided against onion because I feel like it's one too late to cook the onion, and it won't be that good. I just kind of forgot about it, and I'm just I'm not really feeling an onion today. So I'm gonna actually totally pass on the onion. But next time I make chicken, which I'm about to make this probably tomorrow again, so I'll probably just add an onion tomorrow. This is the finished product. This is the finished product. Let me know how y'all fucking with it. Would you eat? Would you not? God damn. We gonna we gonna bust into this chicken. I'm gonna eat up my hands on your butt. I forgot my fork. That rice, it's a little dry, but it's hitting. It's really good, it's like Chinese restaurant rice. Yeah, I'm gonna get a fork for that. I got my soy sauce too. You gotta have your soy sauce. This is not gonna be a full review like usual because of this video's already been pretty long, but um, I'm just gonna give this chicken a try. I got a little skim, but I hope it can check it perfectly. Mm. Oh my, oh my, fuck. Mm. Bro. Oh my god. <laughs> if you know me chicken like that, go do it right now. 10 minutes. Garlic. Onion, onion powder, jaw powder, paprika, salt and pepper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm silly about not paprika, but paprika is good too. I'm gonna try this Walmart soy sauce too. It's like a triple review, because I've never tried this shit. I'm a little scared. Kiki Miss was too expensive. I said fuck all that. 
I'm gonna see if this Walmart sauce is hitting or not on this rice. All right, my boys and girls, six Keekman. Everything else is fire. Get the get the rice cooker. Put double the oil I did, please. Made it a little dry. But if you put double the oil, it'd be good as hell. The key, stick to the key commands because that shit is a little better. But, it's ain't bad. I mean, soy sauce. It just tastes like soy sauce. It's just like a little cheaper. I mean, like, it's too hard to see what expect. Chicken's a little salty because I put a little too much salt on it, but it's hitting. Yeah, man. <clears throat> that's some good shit. I'll finish this up and enjoy my rest of my day. I hope you guys do the same. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, it's been a really fucking fun video. Oh my god. I had some such good shit. I'm so sorry. I haven't eaten all day. I'm mean, have, but I just haven't eaten a full meal. That's what I mean. I needed some chicken and rice. It's really hidden. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. It's been Logos. Hope you have a great day. Bye.